Hello everybody and welcome to this video where we's going shoppings. This video has come up because, um, because a lot of you ask where I get my books because a lot of the stuff I get are either rare or out of print books and especially when I'm getting like old um, chat books or old little magazines or old zines where do I go? So what we're going to do is um, go shopping and show you what I get. There are many places to go, but the one I've been going to the longest is right here, A Books. And I heard Amazon owns this now, so that kind of sucks, whatever. The reason why I'm still on A Books after all this time is because I have a ridiculous list here. So what I do is, let's go to my basket, son. If you look here, what what I do, okay, so it says I have four items in my basket, but that's not what I wanna show you. I wanna show you what's in my saved for later. I have 65 items in here. And as you see, this one right here, I advance with a loaded rose by Douglas Blazik is sold. But there's this thing that finds similar titles which is awesome because you can look for other titles when they do sell. Now, if you look up here, so right now in my basket, I have $90 worth of shit, but that is because I had this in here, um, Broken Knuckle Poems by Douglas Blazin, um for 35 bucks with um, $6.99 shipping. And then I was going through my save later and I saw that I had another Broken Knuckle Poems in here for only $25 and four fifty dollars shipping. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to look and see which one of these look better. Okay, so let's go. Let's start with the $25 edition. Oh, perfect. The $25 edition does not have a picture. Great. It says absolutely nothing really. Um, size 8.5 by 11 inches, mimeographed and stapled, limited to 500 copies. Cover has light wear and is age toned with author and title handwritten on the spine. Everything else in good, clean condition. Now, I don't know if the spine of that book is supposed to be handwritten or not. So, sure. let's go back to the cart and now look at the other one. Okay, this is a very good edition. Okay. No picture, uh, 500 copies off of the back cover from contact with fluorescent pink front cover of the same title. Oh, so there's a little bit of different color on that. Mm. Creasing to edges else very good or better. That doesn't sound like a very good addition. If it, <laughs> if like the fucking shit is like all fucked up looking. Okay, where's this store? It just says within the U.S. Let me see here. Where's this coming from? We are now in North Carolina having moved from Vermont. Okay, so that's coming from Vermont. Or no, North Carolina, sorry. Okay, so what about this one? This one is from Kansas. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the cheaper edition. I think I'm going to go with the cheaper edition. With author and title handwritten on the spine. Everything else good, clean condition. So I don't know if that means that that's what that spine looked like. Or if somebody wrote on the fucking spine. Now, is that worth an extra 10 bucks and $2 shipping? So another like 12 bucks. Is that worth that? I don't fucking know. Ugh. This is so annoying. I don't know what to do. Um, okay, we're going to put the more expensive one in the save for later spot. And then the other thing I have in here is, oh, you thought this was a date. Apocalypse Poems by C. Russell Price. So let's see this book. Ten bucks, two dollar shipping. Uh, uh, this item may be a former library book, may show... Dude, I fucking hate this when there are these people on fucking Abe that are just like, okay, let me put um, a bunch of stuff in here. Okay, so um, about this item specifically, let, let's find out about this item. May show signs of wear, highlighting, writing, and previous use. I don't know, maybe. This item may be 
a former library book with typical markings. No guarantee on products that contain supplements. Your satisfaction is 100% guaranteed, except for all the stuff we talked about before. 25-year bookseller with shipments to over 50 million happy customers. Are they really fucking happy? I mean, you basically tell them you're going to give them whatever the fuck you give them, and they're going to smile when you, like, kick them in the nuts. <sighs> but yeah, um, I really want to check um, his stuff out. Uh, there was another book of his that I thought had already come out, but I can't find it anywhere. I will try this one. So that is in my cart. And then I wanted to get this book, The Hatred of Poetry by Ben Lerner, because I don't think it is a very solid thesis. So let me like read this to you. Um, no art has been denounced as often as poetry. It's even bemoaned by poets. I, too, dislike it, wrote Marianne Moore. Many more people agree they hate poetry, Ben Lerner writes, than can agree what poetry is. I, too, dislike it and have largely organized my life around it and do not experience that as a contradiction because poetry and the hatred of poetry are inextricable in ways it is my purpose to explore. Oh my fucking god, this sounds awful. In this inventive and lucid essay, just so you guys know, when someone is describing your essay, I don't know if inventive is the best way to say it. Because that's saying, like, you've, you've never read anything like this before. And I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing. Lucid just seems like, um, are, are you conscious? Like, are you? Okay, okay, awesome. Um, Lerner takes the hatred of poetry as the starting point of his defense of the art. He examines poetry's greatest haters, beginning with Plato's famous claim that an ideal city has no place for poets who would only corrupt and mislead the young and both its greatest and worst practitioners, providing inspired close readings of Keats, Dickinson, McGonagall, Whitman, and others. Throughout, he attempts to explain the noble failure of the heart of every truly great and truly horrible poem. The impulse to launch the experience of an individual into a timeless communal existence. In The Hatred of Poetry, Lerner has crafted an entertaining, personal, and entirely original examination of a vocation no less essential for being impossible. Here is my thing. I have a book that's going to be coming out at the end of the summer called Poetry is Bullshit. And the reason why I am even toying with this The Hatred of Poetry thing and honestly, this thing having four fucking stars and almost 3,000 ratings, like, I've never said this before, but I think that's um, bullshit. Like, I've never said Goodreads ratings or um, gimmicked or anything like that. That, I think, is bullshit. So I have this book called um, Poetry is Bullshit, and the, the premises are different, but when I have talked to certain people about my book they're like oh have you read the hatred of poetry by ben lerner and i'm like of course i haven't like why the fuck would i do that no i'm just kidding but anyway so this fucking book when i hear him i like researched it on youtube or whatever and when i hear him talking about him writing the book it seems intriguing then when i hear him read sections out of the book I'm like, this sounds fucking awful. So it comes back to this whole thing where you have certain poets, certain people who are more interesting than the work they produce. And that's like just not great. That's not great. I don't know. So I'm thinking about getting this fucking thing too. Just so I could like get it and decide what I'm going to do with it, I guess was the best way to put that. Okay. So let's see what else we got here. I wanted to show you guys some other shit 
so right here, 1600 bucks for aftermath of a lengthy rejection slip in Story Magazine, March, April, 1944. So let's see if they actually have a picture. That's the other thing I hate about the site is that they don't have fucking images of fucking anything usually. Okay, so this is... Um, Bukowski's, I think it's his first published work, and it doesn't even fucking have it in, on here, right? Because it's just in the back. Yeah, but this is it. Oh, wait, no. Re Rejection Slip Aftermath. All right, well, there you go. Charles Bukowski. Boom, right there. March, April, 1944. So, 1600 bucks and $6 shipping. <laughs> Oh, wait, there's nine U's from 45 bucks. Let's do this. Um, no, that's still 1200 bucks. Where is this $45 from? Yeah, there's only two copies here. There's some pretty expensive books here. So, um, Wormwood Review. Um, this is volume five, number two, issue 18. Dude, the way they did their stuff, it's so ridiculous. And there's not a picture of it. Well, that fucking sucks. Let me see. There are... Okay, so... Earth One. This is Bukowski, Blazik, Buckner, D.A. Levy, Schwartz, William Wantling, and Steve Richman. I think this is Steve Richman's um, book. Like, his uh, press. Ooh, that's pretty. How many pictures have we got here? Oh, that's fucking cool. Ugh. Uh, but yeah, dude, Bukowski, Blazik, Levy, Montling, and Richmond. I don't know much about Max Schwartz, um, John Buckner, or Anna Purcell, but um, I've uh, I've been looking at this book for a long time. <sighs> uh, Cover by Anna Purcell, edited by Steve Richmond. Yeah. Um, let's see. Are you guys gonna fight or what? I fucking hate when motherfuckers are screaming outside and I fucking just wait and wait and wait and then I finally get up and then they're like, oh, we gotta split. And they're not getting up because I got up or they're not leaving because I got up. It's just how it works. Okay, so let's see here. Stapled cardstock covers with white and blue mimeograph pages. Hmm. Little magazine features the long Charles Bukowski poem with the equally long title, Rambo Be Damn, I Have Withstood 99,000 Seasons in Hell, and I Still Look Down Into This Glass Wondering, Wondering. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great title. Um, other contributors include Blazik. See, I wish, and I know it's not that important because most people don't fucking give a shit about a lot of this stuff, but like, I would love to know what Blazik poems are in there, what Wantling poems are in there, what Richmond poems are in there, you know, even D.A. Levy. That would be cool. D.A. Levy is a super fucking interesting character, and I should probably do a whole um, episode on him and his press and the arrest and the obscenity trials and shit like that. Like, that's some good fucking shit. Earth Books from Santa Monica, California in 1965. Oh my god, I fucking want this thing, dude. Uh, okay, so, yeah, this is that. Um, not gonna get it right now. Not gonna get it right now. Um, let me see. Small Press Review. Throb. Um has an interview with Blazik. That's cool. I need to start doing interviews and stuff. I want to really do that. Um, and that's not too expensive. Well, 30 bucks. You know, whatever. So let's look at some of these covers and stuff. Like, if they have them. Like, that's a fucking interesting cover, yeah? Let's see. Can you guys see that? Not really, because I have the screen all weird. <laughs> Nixon. Uh, good times. Am I right? So what happens now if I come out of here? That's a cool cover. I love fucking like the, like this is like pre Xerox, but like the cut and paste fucking um, collage shit. Okay, let me see what this looks like. Yeah, I gotta move that over now. Great, 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 great. Okay, 
Okay, spring 71. Oh, man. Okay, what else we got here? Oh, I hate that it does that. Just let me go back to where I was. Oh, yeah, I really want to look at that. But I just want to see if there's anything else I wanted to show you guys. Mm, Hunk of Skin by Pablo Picasso. It's only 36 bucks. Hmm. Um, okay, so that was Throb. Let's look at Berkeley Tribe. What does that look like? Who's in this one? Um, Ginsburg and Bukowski. Protesters at Adam Blast. Wow, that's a cool fucking cover, dude. And so this is like a longer double fold um, paper. Let me see. You guys probably can't see it. Oh, wait, no, you guys can see it. That's fine. Okay. That sounds like my old dog. That sounded like Fred. That was weird. 54 bucks, dude. All right, let's see what else we got. Um, a San Francisco review. You know, let's just take a look at that. What's that looking like? Oh, yeah, we've seen that before. If you watch my Bukowski videos. Same fucking picture. Um, Dust. Who's in this one? William Wantley and Doug Blazik. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, that's a fucking cool ass cover. And this is 66. That's so fucking mod. Oh my god. Dala. Oh wait, no, there is an R there. I just saw Dala. Uh, oh, I love that cover and I love the fucking colors, dude. Oh, that is fucking gorgeous. It's a good looking fucking book. Huh. 32 bucks free shipping. Who's in this? Let's see what else this says about it. Um, 48 pages. Five and a half by eight and a half. Illustrations, poetry, very good booklet, and original stapled pink wraps. Includes a short play about an anarchist by Houston. <laughs> Such a weird fucking, like, oh, this also includes a short play about an anarchist. In case you were, um, you know, like if you were in the market for a, you know, a short play about an anarchist. So fucking funny. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. Okay. Okay, Just calm down, dude, calm down. Let's see here, smoke signals. Um, this is, oh, you know what? Ooh, that's pretty, let's look at that. Can we enlarge this at all? This is very tiny. How the fuck am I supposed to read this? Um, Bukowski, Kerouac, okay. Um, now this Raymond Mungo, Big Fool's Day Jam. First annual. Uh, I wish this was a fucking better picture. Let me see. Oh, that's terrifying. So that's the back cover. Okay. Terrifying. Now I wonder. Oh shit! Guess what we can do? Can I can I do it more? Or is that as big as we can get, make it? Um, Raymond Mungo, famous long ago from Hollywood. Hmm. Oh, they interviewed Kerouac. That's pretty cool. No, but what I'm saying, this Raymond Mungo, um, I'm wondering if this is the same Mungo that is talked about in, um, it's like the life and death of an underground paper, and I think it's in The Most Beautiful Woman in Town. And the guy who's running Open City, he's gonna kill the guy who's sleeping with his wife and um Bukowski's like um I'm gonna take you to see uh, Mungo of the Eternal High and then the guy's like no don't take me to see Mungo he's a jerk and he like makes me feel bad about myself or whatever <laughs> and he's like yeah he lays some pretty heavy shit on you man look out you know um, but yeah, I wonder if that's the same fucking dude. That's funny. Uh, first printing, 98 pages, as new, all corners pointed, binding square. Hmm. Without stress, he says, oh, okay. Wow. This, this sounds like, oh, it's 120 bucks. Yeah. Okay. Well, good job. That makes more sense. 
All right, what else we got? Oh, the infamous anthology of LA poets. This, I believe, oh, I really do want this. Okay, so anthology of LA poets, Bukowski and Neely Cherry, who is Neely Tchaikovsky, are editors of this. Now, I think, again, I'm not 100% on this. Yeah, that looks like just like a, that does look like embossed on there though. That's kind of nice. Let me, uh, I can't really tell. I think it is. Um, this book, I think, is the supplement that they put out with Open City that got the guy whose name I can't remember. It's like Barry something Barry. I don't know if I can remember. The guy who ran o Open City, I almost called it Open Pussy, because um, that's what they call it in the story. But um, I think this is the anthology that um, got him booked on obscenity. And then Bukowski allegedly felt bad about that, that the anthology he put together is the thing that got him locked up, that he then um, gave him his Notes of a Dirty Old Man article um, for free instead of um, getting paid $10 a week for it and that that $10 was to go to the uh, um, Open City Defense Fund or whatever but this says it's published by Laugh Literary now Laugh Literary and Red Hill Press see 1972 I don't even know if Open City was around anymore by then I think um, by 1972, he was doing the free press. Like, I, I think Open City was gone. I think that was like 68 through 70. Ooh, I'm going to say. So, I don't know. But Laugh Literary is the... Um, Laugh Literary and Man the Humping Guns. That's um, Bukowski and Neely's um, little magazine that they put out. So, I don't know. I don't know the history of this um, near fine first edition. 45 bucks. God damn it. Oh, and it's in California, so that's good. Okay, let's see. Moving right around. Dude, I could do this all day. Like, you guys are like, wow, you're really doing this right now, aren't you? And I'm like, yeah. I, I could go all day, baby. I could go all day. LA Free Press. Oh yeah, that's Free Press, 1975. That's what I could do. I could look up a copy of Open City and see what the publication date is. Okay, let's see what this Free Press looks like. 50 bucks for this little newspaper here. Whatever happened to the Yippies to New School for Social Research? Sir Han didn't kill RFK. A special four-page report. Is it, though? Um, is your house safe enough? Wow, this is like a ridiculous fucking... <laughs> oh my god. Okay, loud ass helicopter, go fuck yourself, please. Dude, they've been in fucking rare form today, man. They are like just out and ready to piss me off today. What is there left to understand about... A light that is not able to be there. What the fuck is this? Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, first edition, one of 200 copies in staple decorated wrappers with silk screen cover. Nice. Contains poems by Bukowski, Blazik, Robert Creeley, and more. An uncommon title. Yes, it is an uncommon title. Can't really tell what that is a silk screen picture of. And I don't know, whatever. I think it's a dude with maybe, I don't know, and then there's some chick. I don't fucking get it. All right, moving along. Um, that looks cool as shit, though. Okay, um, yeah, I keep wanting to show you guys this thing because this is something I've had on here for a long time. Um, but the Harold Norse um, special issue of Olay. Olay is the little magazine that Douglas Blazik um, put together, um, and there's no picture for it, so whatever. And this, again, is out of the Bay Area, like Sacramento area, because that's where Blazik is, and that is where this bookstore is. So it hasn't traveled very far over the years, so that's cool. Um, but this fucking thing, okay, we have um, William S. Burroughs, okay? 
John Wilcock, don't know much about. Charles Bukowski, William Carlos Williams, T. McNamara, uh, Thomas Livingston, Daniel Richer, um, Anais Nin, Paul Carroll, John Raymond, Norman Thomas, Jack Hirschman, um, and some other shit. And it, the funny thing here is that I don't get... This is the Harold Norse special issue, and Harold Norse's name isn't fucking in the thing. I guess it's because they it was in the title, whatever. Only my old additional wear... Blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah. Like, I've been wanting this for fucking a long-ass time. Um, 75 bucks... Uh, so like 80 bucks so uh, i'm just gonna say this if you guys if you motherfuckers go in here and start buying all the shit that i'm like hey i really want these things and you guys buy this stuff um you guys are assholes and if you do do that i expect um photocopied copies of all of this okay so whatever you get you have to make copies of okay and send it to me or eat, I don't even fucking care if it's a digital file. Do that. I will take care of putting it together. Fuck. The Ole Anthology, I really want. Um, this is like kind of all the best stuff that was in Ole. Um, let me see. 108 pages. Nice. Um, number 338 of 5,000 copies. Actual number was a fraction of that. <laughs> I wonder what the actual number was. <coughs> Um, a choice period selection of material from this essential 60s mimeographed magazine edited by Douglas Blazik. So who do we got in here? Blazik, Bukowski, Levy, Norse, um, Charles Plymel, don't know that. Tr George Dowden, don't know. D.R. Wagner, Marcus J. Grapes, Al Purdy, T.L. Chris, William Wantling. Oh my fucking God. Yeah, like, I totally want this thing. Why don't I just fucking get it? Oh, God. Oh, I've been wanting this thing for a fucking long-ass time. Okay, view all two copies of this book. Let's just see. Fucking thrill me here. Oh, so all, all two copies of this book is just one copy of this book. Got it. Okay. Good. All right. Um, fuck. Okay. I don't know. We'll figure this out. Go back up to the top so then I can scroll all the way back down. You fucking asshole. Okay. Um, oh, let's see what this other issue of Dust looks like because they had that great cover. Oh, it's an okay cover. Um, Blazik, Wantling. Fuck, dude. Do I have a William Wantling book in here? I remember I was looking for one and I couldn't find one. Ole number eight. What does that look like? Ooh, look at this cover. This is a fucking cool, like... Oh, I don't like that. I think I know what that picture is from. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. Do you guys know what this eyeball picture is from? Do you know what that's from? It's fucking gross. I don't like it. I don't want to think about it. Blah. Okay, let's see what else we got here. A human being is unconstitutional. Onward, Christian soldiers. God says, tomorrow I'll dance in a veil of our... Nope, not going to even try. Um, Mr. Zip is a voyeur. That's funny. Mr. Zip used to be the um, uh, U.S. mail uh, mascot. Uh, Mr. Zip, because of zip codes and stuff like that. Holy, holy, holy. Um, Olay. <laughs> okay, there were a couple other ones I wanted to show you guys on here before I call this quits. Let's see. Um, Bukowski's um, magazine here is going for 100 bucks. That's kind of crazy. Let's take a look at it. Is it going to show it? No. Nope. Okay, you guys suck. All right. Um, oh, man. What else do I want to show you guys? Oh, this is something I've always wanted to. Um, Long Dongs by um, Blazik and Richmond, and I guess Joe Nickel. What did Joe Nickel do in here? Um, first edition, uh, one of 300 copies. Um, three poets work. Okay. 
um, published by Cleveland Underground legend D.A. Levy in the vein of Charles Bukowski and the Meet Memeo school he inspired. Mm, I don't like when they put that in like that, but whatever. Blazing and Richmond are best known for their association with Bukowski, but both produce strong work, especially Blazik, that deserve contemporary readers' attention. Oh, okay. Whatever. Um, so let's look at this. Yeah, this is something I've always wanted. Um, I've always wanted long dongs. God damn it. Okay, let's see what else we got here. scribbled on all right oh that looks like a mirrored end page in there and then just like a bunch of crappy paper paper 300 copies wow <laughs> that's funny Yep, so there's that. Um, always wanted that bad boy. Let me see. And how much is it going for? 150 bucks and free shipping? Maybe someday. Maybe someday, son. Okay, let me see. Um, I don't think I have any wantling on here. Um, I was going to pick some wantling up. Um, yeah, all these are sold. That sucks. Okay, what else did I have in here? Um, this, I'm so fucking pissed off about. Okay, oh, so I'm going to show it to you. Okay, so this is... Oh, is that why? Okay, so it's a Steve Richmond book with a forward by Bukowski signed by Bukowski. That's hysterical. Um, Earth Poets Series 1 signed by Bukowski on title page. Uh, this is um, Steve Richmond's like first book, and there's only 300 copies of it. Now I think there is copies of this. I did, I never realized that this had um, Bukowski's signature in it, and it's 165 bucks. Because when I first found this book on here, it was like 30 bucks, and I haven't seen it since. But then I found out that there was another edition of this that came out in the 90s that had actually more poems in it that another company put out. Um, but I, I haven't been able to run across that anywhere either. So, um, yeah, so that one's one of those that I've um, been wanting for a long time. Yeah, and that's basically it. Um, oh, yeah, here's a William Wentley one. Oh, that's what I wanted to show you. Okay, so this right here, this one's $375. Jesus fucking Christ. So this is The Source by William Watling with uh, inscription to um, Douglas Blazik. So let's see if we could read this here. Oh, it's not going to let me. Um, for Doug, for the long while and the two short last half mile in and for a friend who cares who cares and makes the whole absurd bag worthwhile oh that's pretty cool so this for 375 dollars to have him with a note to blazik and this was blazik's book that's fucking awesome Ooh. what was the print run on this does it say i don't think it says um yeah i don't know but that's pretty fucking awesome. And then the other Wantling one that I have on here, because Wantling stuff is hard to get. Um, this one's 150, and this one is also signed. But yeah, so anyway, um, I have to do a live stream now, so I'm going to split. But um, I'm going to get those books that I had in my cart, and I'll show them to you when I get them. So till next time, everybody. Type hard, and I'll talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.